Self-advocacy means to speak up. Speaking up for your rights, no matter what the issue or the concern is. To speak for oneself and speak for others. I have my own voice. I speak up for myself. Standing up for your rights and not relying on staff or your support staff to uh, make decisions for you. The ability to be independent, live your life to its fullest extent. We took issues like the will, will work, will pay. Being persistent want when you got control of your life, of your everyday affairs. Means given the ability to, to have choices in my life. It's not just about information sharing, it's about being in the, the community. I worked really hard in the community because of my unique disability to get the word out that people like us should be in the community. Speaking up for yourself, but also taking responsibility for your things. Being able to know what you want and then being able to go for it and, and having somebody else that believed in it that's able to help you. I'm going to fight for those that are like me or it don't matter, it's just I just don't like people taking advantage of. They want to get the word out that they want something out of life. As much as everybody tries to help people with various kinds of disabilities, we're the ones who really know what we need. For years, the voices of people with intellectual disability were never heard. Decisions were made for them. If it doesn't come from us, it comes from people who don't have an intellectual disability and they don't actually have the experience to talk about it. The professional really didn't listen to us more because they don't know as well as we do what we want in it. Other people will decide what you will do. If you are not at the table, you don't know what those people are going to decide. A part of being a self advocate is to get out there and start networking. And if you don't know how to do that, you should go and ask a self-advocate person that knows how to do it, and they'll help you. There's tons of barriers out there, but attitudinal barriers are the biggest, I think. The biggest thing is being included in the community with society, and it's inclusion within college, school. We came out here to learn from y'all in a way, and that's what we want people to understand, what we need help and, and all that from y'all. That's what we want. I like to be out, helping people, and to teach people. I learned to speak speak up and not be ashamed of who, who I am. Just like the civil rights movement before us, we try to do things to help people speak out for what they want and do what they believe in. We just wanted to let everybody know just because you have a disability doesn't mean you're less than or you don't know or you're not committed to something. We need a voice. We need to get people to listen. It's really important that we speak up and tell people what is wrong in this world and so that we can make it better and we can make a change. 